this cross were two heterozygotes for a mutation in the LDL receptor have children. Three quarters of the children have high LDL cholesterol levels because the receptors do not bind to the LDL particle to take them into endothelial cells, and an elevated heart disease risk. From this standpoint, one would conclude that this mutation is inherited as an autosomal dominant. However, if one were to measure the LDL cholesterol level, in normal individuals it ranges from 75 to 175, in heterozygotes from 200 to 400, while in those who are homozygous for the mutation it is greater than 450. And so, from a measured LDL cholesterol level standpoint, this mutation is incompletely dominant. Heterozygotes have a condition in between that of normal individuals and those who are homozygous for the mutation. Since 1 in 500 individuals are heterozygotes, then those who are homozygous recessive would be very, very rare one in more than 100,000 individuals. So from a phenotype standpoint, this could be classified as an autosomal dominant, but at a molecular level, it could be classified as incompletely dominant.